Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a life update because I just <laughs> I got on Instagram and I asked you guys to shoot me your questions if you have something that you're curious about. I've got all of my questions. I've screenshot the few Wow, I've got a lot of questions guys. But before that, if this is the very first time you're seeing my face, hello, I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that subscribe button just underneath this video. Now let's go. AR Low C. Have you felt bored doing makeup, skincare, content creation? Do you want to change profession? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my feet up. I'm gonna get comfortable for this one. And I'm gonna lean back. I, I wanted to like put on makeup while doing this chit chat, but then I was like, you know, Let's just focus on one thing. <laughs> I'm your beauty girl. I love beauty, getting ready. I love makeup, skincare, fashion. But I've been making content on this subject for the last 10 years. So have I been demotivated, especially with, you know, the kind of slump in the growth of my channel? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have been demotivated. Um, and have I been burnt out? 100%. So I won't say bored. But demotivated is definitely something that happened to me. Wanting to change my profession is definitely, definitely something that I thought about many, many, many times. But then I get messages every so often from one of you saying I helped you through your depression or helped you through a really difficult time. And I'm like, hmm, you know, this is why I do what I do. I feel like I really empower some of you out there. So I... Uh, feel like I have a friend in you and I feel like you have a friend in me. So yeah, I, I continue to do this, but have I explored other areas of career? Yes. This is from Darad09. How to stay with people who are nice on face but talk shit about you behind your back? Well, don't stay with them. That's just a secret. If a person is not good to you, good for you, good with you, don't be with them. Sakshi Sinha 4703, does your husband bother you or your family in any way after your divorce? So that's ex-husband. Um, yes, yes, he does bother me and my family. Like he really needs to move on. Anyways, the next one is from Shiny Leo. Any new collabs like pack brushes and DI diamond one, Akka? The pack brushes did so well, okay? And the DI collection also, you guys loved it so much. And I am working on something. Um, it's... Yeah, I am working on something. You guys are going to love it. I've put my life into this. I've put my life into this, guys. So, yeah. Yep, something is coming. Tell me if you get a chance to go back to your life and change one thing for you. What will it be and why? I would just change the person I got married to, probably. Yeah, not probably. I would. I don't think I needed those kind of life lessons or PTSDs to, you know... <laughs> lug around and haul around for the rest of my life um, yeah I saw those red flags I saw those red flags and I ignored them guys do not ignore the red flags uh, this is from Gayatri Goody 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 Patti are you the same person front and back side of the camera uh, why don't we test it out so this is the front side of the camera this is the back side of the camera what do you think huh was I the same person? Was I? Uh, from Sans Kartik, are you launching your own brand? This is, I cannot believe I'm saying this. This is the first time I'm saying this. This is the first time I'm saying this. Yes, I am launching my own brand. I am not ready to say what it is. I have been working on this brand for exactly one year and six months at this point. It has taken every, it has taken every single living cell out of me um, it's really not that easy guys I have so much so much respect for my peers who have started their own brands you know like Sarah she's such a close friend of mine she's such she, amazing look she is a hustler and she is a boss I don't care what anyone says she is amazing and Anam from Verified so many all of these people who start their own brand when you see it from outside it's so easy to critique it's so easy to comment but the amount of work that goes behind guys it's 
It's a lot. I want to hear from you, you know, when you think of me, what are the three things that come to your mind? What do you think my brand is going to be about? When do you think I will be ready? I want to hear from you. Just want to know what, what you think it's going to be, you know. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is. It could be anything, right? It could be anything. I want to know. What do you think? What do you think my brand is going to be? What do you think the name is going to be? We, we have a name. It's registered. It, the work is done. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so, you know, it was, I think, 2015 or 2016 when I wanted to start my own brand. Um, I had contacted suppliers. I had contact from all over the world. I had taken costings. I had, I had started the work, but it just never came into life. 2015 or 2016 and eventually I just found the perfect partner with whom I can do this. It took me all of those years, almost what, eight years to reach this place where that dream of mine finally is becoming a reality. So although it has been a roller coaster ride, it has been a crazy ride. I, you know, it's, it's a dream that's coming true and it's something that I'm able to like make tangible for you guys. You know, up until this point, you've seen me through the cameras, you've seen me through your devices. Of course, we've, got, we've had the pack brushes. You could hold a piece of me. I've put, I've put my life into that. And those of you who have that brush set, you know it's the best. It's the best. Um, even when I had my jewelry launch, um, I did not have as much control in that launch, but those of you who have that also know that, you know, they are beautiful. They are, you know, so everything that I put my heart into, I really respect you guys so much. I think of every single one of you. I've had so many challenges in, you know, wanting to deliver only the best for you. It's been a journey, guys. I cannot wait to see, to say, to share more of this. Um, so, yeah, you know, I want to, I want to hear from you guys, um, anyways, and <laughs> my God, am I sweating? I'm actually sweating. I'm feeling hot after saying this. Anyways, from Priyanka Prem Kumar, we have, how do you manage to be so open, vulnerable on camera? I often back away, give up and hide behind my jokes. Um, I guess... That's a really good question, Priyanka. I think it's just that I've been doing this for way too long. I've kind of gotten a comfort with this object, you know, the camera. And um, also, I am this. I am extremely open and a vulnerable person with whoever I'm close to. And I consider the camera and the people I connect with through the camera, you, I consider you close, you know, so I am this person in real life. It is me being me. <laughs> From Suzanne R, we have love your eat, pray, love Paris video. I resonate so much. Any upcoming solo travels planned? See, that's another thing, you know, so I had uh, kind of stopped vlogging my travels because those videos don't really get views. But then when I meet people who you know, especially when I travel, I meet people who watch only my travel videos, a lot of men, you know, they don't, obviously they're not interested in the beauty videos. They really, really connect with me and I'm like, see, there is another side to me. I love travels. Uh, so I continue making those videos even if they don't really do well, you know. But anyways, answering um, question about any upcoming solo trip planned, no. I have, like I said, I've put everything into this one project. Um, I cannot really afford to take off on a solo trip right now so yeah Karina Pereira oh I like your name what's your take on egg freezing are you considering it oh my god Karina such such an amazing question for the last two and a half years I have been considering it um, especially because I have my friends who've been pushing me to do it Shweta and Amita specifically um, the thing is, I see, I see the point, uh, and the point is just do it, you know, just do it. But also at this point, I feel like I know my answer on my my take on seeing myself as a mother. I don't think 
I don't think I want to be a mother anymore. There was a point in life when that was the only thing I wanted, like the only thing I wanted and it did not happen for me at that point. Uh, but I have moved on from then and I really don't think that's what I want right now. But I also believe there is a never say never thing. So it's something that I'm really battling with, you know. I uh, had kind of given myself a goal of doing it anyway this year but it hasn't happened. Like I said, this one project has taken, sucked every breath out of me. Um, but um, yeah, it is something that I, it is something that I'm considering. From Taranye, how's your dating life looking like? It is looking like a pack of lace chips. It's full of air. <laughs> it's full of nothing, nothingness. Aman's jaw. No, I thought that was joy. Aman's journey of life, many influencers shifting base permanently to Mumbai these days. And what are your thoughts? My thoughts, um, that is another thought that I was battling with for, um, I want to say a year and a half. I strongly, strongly, strongly considered it myself. And I travel quite a lot to Mumbai for work. And every time I went to Mumbai, I tried to vision... Uh, myself and picture myself living there and I just couldn't do it guys the noise the traffic the streets the I couldn't like it it's really like Mumbai yes it's gonna give me ample amount of work and social life there is no question about that I love Mumbai but Coming from Kerala, I think I need this space and the calmness and the quietness. I really, I don't think that is something I'm ready to compromise on at this point in my life. So, yeah. Uh, Jyoti Varun, please share some insights about therapy and its importance. I put everyone in my life on therapy. Everyone, including my dad, believe it or not. Uh, so, I think it's very, very important and... Um, this is a conversation I had with my brother just oh, two weeks ago. Um, so I asked him to go to therapy and he asked me, what do you think is so wrong with me that you've been asking me to go to therapy? And I was like, I don't think anything is wrong with you. I don't think anything is wrong with me. And I don't think anything is wrong uh, with people who go to therapy. It's just, it's, it's just you, we need a neutral person with the way our life has turned out. We have so much in our plate. We have, all of us have some kind of trauma from childhood or relationships or work or, we all have trauma and we, our personalities have shaped because of past trauma and how we behave with people today depends on our trauma and we have no idea, you know? So therapy just makes you be the best version of yourself. So for me, I think every single person needs to go to therapy regardless of what <laughs> mental state you think you are in. Um, I am not in a great mental state to start with anyway, so I definitely need therapy. Um, so that is my feeling on therapy. Anyways, this question is, Mother Nature is precious. This one says, I feel fun Juvita is lost somewhere. I wish you to be fun and happy at whatever place you are. I, uh, <laughs> I, I feel it too. I feel like fun Juvita is kind of lost and I, the thing is, for a very long time, I tried so hard to keep her alive and I realized that that was draining me. So I'm just learning to let go of even wanting to stay fun, you know. Uh, in between all of these things, this brand that I'm launching, uh, family issues, the divorce, the moving, and I lost my cat, I lost my grandmother, my father had a heart attack. I have really bad health issues that um, it's been a lot going on and it's kind of stupid to force fun out of me when things are not really going the best and it's okay to sit down and feel the pain and feel feel what you're feeling you know I know I will come out of this at some point and I'm inherently a fun person so when I'm okay I know the fun will come back so thank you so much for this really sweet question you know um, you said that you wish for the good for me and yeah, I wish the same for you, you know. I, I hope you are happy at wherever you are when you are typing the message and uh, that's, that's all. So <laughs> that is a life update. I think I've touched on pretty much everything that has been going on. Uh, also, a new studio space. You guys really liked this, um, whatever you've been seeing. I got a new mic. I've been really trying to up the quality of the space as well. 
uh, it took me a while guys i remember you know during pandemic that is when i moved back to uh, cochin with my separation i was in shock of depression uh, divorce I had broken my leg, I was limping and I really couldn't get out of my room. Um, I had yellow walls and so much hate was coming at me at the point and uh, someone asked me to, someone said that the walls are too yellow, it's distracting and I was like, you know what, you feel free to come and paint the wall. I'm not in a financial state, mental state or physical state to change the color of my wall because you find it distracting. Uh, to this day, people talk about that. but you know i've come a long way and i've done what i can um you know when i am able to you know because now i can then i couldn't so uh, to the ones who have been with me through all this the, the ones who supported me and loved me through all this i um, i cannot tell you how much i love you you know when i see you guys in the airport in the malls on the street on the road when you guys come and tell me can i give you a hug <laughs> a lot of the time it's me can i give you a hug Uh so yeah thank you thank you for being there and thank you for staying with me i love you so much this is my life update um the ones who are close to me give you give me your life updates on dms anyways but share feel free to share whatever you feel like sharing with me in the comment section below and i will read as many comments as possible and respond to as many as possible okay so uh, yeah i hope you're having a fabulous day i love you so much and i shall see you in my next one Mwah. Bye.